See your driver's license, please. Sir, I'm on, I'm literally on my way to the Coolidge DMV to get my license. So you don't have a license? I, I am on my way to get it right now. I, I hear that all the time. I, I, do you have I, any ID on you whatsoever? I, I do not, sir. I, I was just released from federal prison last week, Friday. Yes, sir. I, you I don't have any ID? You don't have like a, like a card from I, prison? I, it's, it's crazy. It sounds like there's a story, okay? Friday, I got out of prison. Saturday morning or Saturday, me and my lady went to the carnival and I lost the keys to our car. I lost my, my federal um, identification card mm -hmm. and uh, my chapstick and everything. I feel like in that list of things of importance, chapstick is way at the bottom. Well, I just figured everything that was in the pocket, I might as well tell you, you know? Yep. Absolutely, I feel you. All right, so the reason I stopped you is for a criminal amount of speed. You're 33 miles an hour over the speed limit. Yes, sir. So you're 83. Yes, sir. Your registration expired last year. We're now in this year. We did confirm he did just get out of prison. Um, and his license is still suspended from when he was, before he went to prison. So, so there's all these issues that never would have came to light if he wasn't going 33 over. Um, but he was straightforward with me and honest. And I, I mean, I'm not going to cut him a break and not give him a ticket, but I'm probably not going to write him another criminal ticket. And we're going to give him at least a chance to start getting his life back, um, into line. But all of this could have been avoided if he just would have obeyed the speed limit. Everything is wrong. Everything is wrong. So you did two and a half. You're trying to get your life back straight now. You're at a criminal amount of speed. Your license is suspended. You have suspended plates on your car. Right? Like, all the things are wrong. But I also appreciate that you're in this weird transition spot where you're trying to get your life back. So, I'm not I'm not totally empathetic. This, I still have a job to do. You're still you're still getting some tickets. Okay. I'm not going to take you to jail. Your driver's license is suspended for a failure to appear. Okay. okay. So, I figured you were probably in prison. Yes, you didn't sir. appear. Okay. The court I'm going to I have to be there by 9:30 because it is Tuesday open court. I know. I know. I'm going to be in that court at 2:30 for something else. So, okay. when you go there, you get a tell them that you've got some issues that you need to take care of. I didn't cite you with the criminal speed. I, I didn't that. cite you with the suspended plate. I didn't cite you with all the other stuff that I could cite you with, okay? So that. this still holds you accountable, right? Which is yes, a big, sir. it's a big deal. I'm sure that being held accountable is yes, something sir. that probably in prison, they were like, hey man, you, you're gonna, said, when I'm you get out. Probation after this, so I might, might so not turn out as good. So talk to, talk to them and just say, hey man, look, cop was super cool. He cut me a break, but at the same time, man, slowed if you're driving dirty and you know you're driving dirty 33 miles over the speed limit probably a bad way to stay off the radar yes sir all right is that all fair yes sir absolutely. all right all right i'm gonna give you that right there that's that's where you're going is probably the central penal justice court okay. um and that's it okay all right I any any questions about anything absolutely not sir all right man all right any weapons in your car uh, I think I have a knife in there. No, no one wants to bring a knife to a gunfight. So. Yeah, no, no. All right, well, I'm Deputy Slope. I work for the Pinal County Sheriff's Office Traffic Unit. Hi. Any idea why I might have stopped you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I believe I was speeding. Believe? You're yeah, 37 miles an hour over the speed limit, so you're you know 87 and a 50. Uh, I was in the zone. I was just watching some motivation or listening to some. And I was just in the zone like that. So you're, you're watching a motivational <laughs> no, video? I, I was listening to it. I wasn't watching it. I was listening to it and I was in the zone. And when I looked down, I couldn't believe my thermometer or my thermometer, my odometer. Well, nine, your thermometer nine. would say you were really <laughs> hot. And your yeah. speedometer probably said you were really fast. So either way, yeah. it's high. See how your registration paperwork, current proof insurance. Uh, Can I turn my car off? Yeah, absolutely, man. Yeah, this thing overheats. You should drive it less fast. Yes, I, uh, I've never had a speeding ticket. And it's because they couldn't catch you. Yeah, <laughs> I was speeding, I was. Oh my gosh. Who were you listening to for your motivation? Um, David Goggins. Yeah, you carrying the boats? <laughs> Who's gonna carry the boats, man? The boat. Dude, David Goggins, and he's my man. You ever listen to some Jocko? Uh, Jocko no. Willink? I'm not familiar with them. Dude, um, Navy, another Navy SEAL, he's a commander, uh, test, that, Ford, that Admiral, test unit bruiser. 
uh, Ad Admiral Michael Abershoff. Yes. Oh, great dude. Man, great dude, man. Speech? Ah, man. I was just listening. Make your to bed this morning. Make like, your bed. Make your bed. You got to do that. But there was another one we just said that I really, really liked. I was listening to it, but that, yeah, man. That's good stuff, man. Yeah. I like it. Uh, you were. Yeah, look at yeah, you, man. Change your, change your mind. mind. Motivational speech yeah, compilation. It's, it's all my feet is, man. That and Joel Olstein. That's what I was listening to this morning. Got to get some G.O.D. Yeah, dude. I love it. Man. It's good. And, uh, dude, normally Joel Olstein's Man, dude, that, that guy's, his parishioners, the people that go to his church, they hold it down, man. They killed that crazy person out there. You know, a lot of people too, you know, they talk a lot of crap about Joe Holstein. If you just chew on the meat and, and spit out the bones, All right. and just take what, is, what he's trying to preach instead of judging him like everything else. I mean, I love what, what the way God moves him and, you know, through him and, I like it, man. I do, man. I listen to that stuff all day long, man. I like but, it. Yeah, normally Try some Jocko, man. Let's listen, listen to some Jocko. Jocko. Is Jocko, that Will, J? Jocko Willing. J-O-C-K-O. J-O-C-K-O. It should right there. Jocko Willing. Jocko. Yep, that's motivation. it, man. That dude's real deal. Super, all right. Super cool. Wrote a bunch of books. Extreme Ownership. Yeah. He's got some dichotomy of leadership. Awesome, man. Great author. Great speaker. Um, that dude will motivate you, man. God, He'll get you out of bed in the morning. Right cool. Don't watch him, just listen to him. Yeah, yeah, that's why I had my earbuds in. I don't know if you noticed. I like that. Yeah, but I have my earbuds in. But yeah, dude, normally, man, I'm doing my best to be the best driver. And well, listen, man, that's why I'm, that's why I'm not going to take you to jail for your criminal yeah, speed violation, all right? right? I know so you're still, you're 37 over, yeah. right? So you're 87 and a 50. Um, so exceeding the speed limit by more than 20 miles an hour anywhere in the state of Arizona is considered criminal. So check criminal here. Yeah, I go to the judge. Talk to him. Say, hey, man, let's, I, was, I was hyped up listening to some David Goggins, thinking about <laughs> carrying boats and logs. Yeah. I got excited. I was I was just driving too fast. All right? Yeah. Yeah, dude. I can't be mad, dude. Like, I mean, I was speeding. I appreciate that, yeah. man. So make sure you don't miss that court date and make sure you drive safely for the rest of the day, okay? Yeah, thank you. Be good, man. Thanks. You're 66 miles an hour in a posted 45 or 21 miles an hour over the speed limit. Oh, yeah. I'm so sorry. No, nah, it's okay. Is this your car? Yeah, this is my car. Is it registered to you? Uh, it's under my mom's name. It's, okay, so it's mom's car that you drive. I am a connoisseur of bumper stickers. Is that mom's FTP sticker back there, or is it yours? No, it's a clothing brand. It's a what? It's a clothing brand. Huh? I can, I can show Because you know what it stands for, right? Well, it, it's a clothing brand. You're like, ah, it's a community. I don't know how to explain it. I'm sorry. Well, I know it's also a community that doesn't like cops. Yeah. Yeah. Am I going to jail, man? Am I going to go to jail? Do you have a warrant? I mean, no. I'm, I'm a pretty good person. I okay. Think. I just well, typically, don't. I don't take pretty good people to jail, so. No, I'm just saying because I, I know I know it's 20 years old. It's it is. It's bad. it's yeah. yeah. Have you ever been stopped before? Uh, just for like small stuff. Okay. Like, okay. Is your driver's license suspended? No. Do you have any warrants? No. Then I'm not going to take you to jail. Okay. Now, if, you, if I, you kick me in the shin, I'm going to take you to jail. So I just want to let yeah, you know that, yeah, yeah. all right? Okay. But I think you keep being cool. I don't, I, don't foresee yeah. you, uh, I don't foresee you going to jail. I'm not going to write you a criminal ticket. Do you meet the threshold? Yes, you do. Yeah, I, but I have some discretion, and you seem like the perfect person to use that discretion on. Don't you have like that, that TikTok thing? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's you? That's me. That's cool. I, I, I seen it a few times, but I just didn't really know. So, I don't know. It's me, man, out here. You're like a celebrity, kind of. Um, yeah, I'm like a cop on the internet yeah. and a cop in real life. The way you come off, man, the way you speak. Is it good or is it bad? It's good. Because there's, there's some trolls on the internet that say it's bad, so. That's just people, man. I, I, I agree, man. Those, they're jerks, but yeah. what I, what, what I really, what really matters to me is when I contact people. Like, those people are in, you know, they're living in their mom's basement yeah. somewhere in, you know, yeah. Arkansas complaining about how we do things here in Pinal County, but you live here. So how I contact you is what's yeah. most important So yeah. as long as you're cool with it, man. I don't care what they think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you, man All right, man. As long as you're cool. Listen, man. Put your seatbelt back on. Thanks for being cool. Drive safe, okay? Thanks, man You take off that sticker. All right, my bad. That's all right, man. See all that grass that's over there to the right? See how nice that would be to pull over into? Instead of having me stand here in the middle of the road. I go on this side. Yeah, you never ever pull to the left, ever. Oh, okay. Because I'm standing here in the middle of the road with cars going. I'm sorry, my mistake. 
So, I'm Deputy Slope. I work for the Pinal County Sheriff's Office Traffic Unit. No, I need it because you, you need a couple tickets. So, the first reason that I, your attention, my attention was drawn to you is you passed me at 65 miles an hour in a 50 mile an hour zone. And when you passed me, you were like this. Blah, 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 blah. I, I understand that, but when you're passing me at 15 miles an hour over the speed limit, and you're on your phone, it makes me have to get out of my car in the rain, right? Because when it's raining and my windshield wipers are on, I try not to get out of my car. And right now I'm out of my car because your poor driving required me to get wet. Hang tight for your ticket. Did you feel like you were the entire cause of that entire backup there because you refused to move out of that intersection even though there was like a gazillion ton fire truck with its lights and sirens on, sounding its horn, and you just wouldn't move out of the way? No, I don't feel that that was a correct representation at all. I was moving. Okay. I felt I was moving, and I was looking and trying to see if there's any way I can move more, and I maybe I had a misunderstanding of how much room I had, but I did feel I was getting over as much as I could. Okay, because like, did you hear that thing just like, yes, I saw that, was, that was 100% for you. And if I thought I was the cause, I would have just made my left turn to get out of the way. I really thought I was yeah. the one Or to the right, which is what you're required to do by oh. law. There's a better there's a better version of good, and next time you can do that. But no tickets today, okay? Can I shake your hand first? As soon as I get your driver's yes, license. Sir. All right, well, I'm Deputy Slope. I work for the Pinal County Sheriff's Office Traffic Unit. The reason I stopped you is for a criminal amount of speed. Yeah. I locked you in at 72. Speed limit is, oh, it's a cute Star Wars Chase Visa card. Oh, my bad. Sorry. I'm excited to talk to you, man. I, I did not the re right reason why. I, I was going to say, when I, when I stop you for almost 30 miles an hour of the speed limit, not wearing I, your seatbelt. No, I had my seatbelt on. I took it off just now. Oh, why? Just for caution. I really did. For honestly. caution? I, mean, I feel like keeping so it on is more cautious because then you're safe and you're snuggled in there all nice and safe. I had my seatbelt on. Right. I, I promise that. All right. I, I don't know you, but I'll take your word for it. I promise you. Um, so, but yeah, but anyway, I stopped you for almost 30 over. So I got you at 72 when you were hammering on it there. Yeah. The super loud, annoying muffler out of this thing. Is that annoying? Is it stock? Yeah. That is not a stock, <laughs> right? No. So if it's not no. stock, then it's annoying. He's gonna get a ticket, even though he's a fan. That's those aren't mutually exclusive. So, like, it's way easier to like find me a QT when I'm in there, you know, grabbing a monster, um, and get a picture and, and talk to me there instead of driving this fast in Santan Valley in the rain, which is dangerous, um, and getting pulled over and then getting a ticket. That's however much this ticket is, um, just to, to meet me. So, like, speeding in Santan just to meet me, probably not the best idea um, if you want to try to save some money. You're still well enough over the speed limit that I'm gonna give you a citation. You're gonna get it, it's for speed greater than reasonable and prudent. Well, yeah, man. I don't wanna shake your head. Yeah, don't worry about that, man. <laughs> Wrong reasons, but damn. Hey, man, that's all right. It, it, this is, <laughs> there are way better reasons <laughs> To, to get a picture with me than, uh, than this. Awesome. Hey, see a driver's license. I don't have one. Why not? What's, okay, so I just couldn't see your hands. I don't like it, but I can't I'm see sorry. hands. I'm sorry, I'm pregnant right now. I'm not supposed to be driving. I had to drop him off home. Okay. Yeah, I literally Wait, right you're here. pregnant? You're not supposed to be driving? That's what I was told. You're not supposed to be driving if you're pregnant. That's what I was told. I don't know if I've ever heard that before. Really? I've known a lot of pregnant people. Okay, All right. Well. well, I'm Deputy Slope. I work for the Pinal County Sheriff's Office Traffic Unit. A um, couple different reasons that I stopped you. First of all, my attention never would have been drawn to you if that muffler wasn't so loud and annoying. Yeah, it's not Lit my car, it's... Literally just, but you're driving it, so you're the captain of this ship, partner. So, your muffler's loud and annoying, and it allows every, everyone, is this your neighborhood? Yeah, I Your neighbors hate you. Right there. They, they hate you. my car. Okay. If you drive this in my neighborhood, I'd hate you. So, um, so that's number one, is you have a muffler that creates an unusual sound, which is the requirement for Arizona state law. Secondly, I don't know how you can see through your windshield because it's tinted top to bottom, left to right, and so are your front side windows. So all of that dark tint is all illegal. You can't have it, you can have tint just up at the top, but you can't have it everywhere. So, um, and why don't you have a license? Uh, I'm 14. You're 14? Okay, and ma'am, is this your car? This is my fiance's. Your fiance? Okay. So, and who is this to you? Um, he is, like, family. He's my cousin. Yeah. Okay. 
So because she lives at the apartment, yeah. she told me she couldn't drive. So I was just coming to my house and she's getting. Picked up. I don't know. I just heard I'm not supposed to be driving when I'm pregnant. I wasn't sure. But how old are you? Me, I'm 18. Okay. I mean, I literally have the pregnancy test right here. You want to make it My house is a minute, like, just down. Okay. Yeah. I'm just, I'm shocked. 09. Wow, that's super young. Um, you're actually, you might be the youngest person, like, Born most recently that I've ever pulled over. I've never pulled over someone from 09. I mean, like, his mom is probably home. We can drive over He can't drive anywhere. He doesn't have a license. Okay. He has hers. Do you drive over there? No, 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 no. We're going to deal with the fact that he's illegally operating this motor vehicle. Which, so we're not, we're not going anywhere. So you knew that he didn't have a license, right? Okay. All right, thank you so much, man. All right, and do you have your registration paper and curb proof insurance? You don't have anything? I mean, where did you put your stuff? I know it, but where's your registration? All right, stay right in there. I'll be back. There's a lot of loss for words here. And, and maybe I'm wrong. I'm not a woman. I don't identify as a woman. Um, I don't know. Is uh, females? Is there? Is there a doctor out there that says like as soon as you get pregnant that you can't drive? Because maybe it's a thing. Um, to my knowledge, Arizona law does not have a stipulation based on pregnancy of as soon as you're pregnant you can no longer drive and have to have a unlicensed 14 year old driver. Can you call mom? Have mom come over here so I don't have to. She's not home. I was at my cousin's apartment. And then I needed to come home, so she was like, was like oh, it's like a minute away. Because she lives at the apartments down the street. Okay. What's your current address? I've addressed this before. I'm going to address it again. If you're in Arizona and you have never been issued a driver's license in any jurisdiction, because you're 14 years old, the state of Arizona is going to take your car and they're going to put it in car jail for 20 days. Okay. So you're being cited with not having a valid driver's license and the original reason besides the muffler, because that really drew my attention, the second reason that really drew my attention to you was the improper material on your windows and windshield, right? Because your windshield looks like the inside of my eyelids. It's, it's black. Um, so that is, those. that's it. There's a whole bunch of other things that I could cite you with, like having your super annoying muffler, not having your registration paperwork, not having current proof insurance for your vehicle, all of those things. So I could cite you with more, but I think this gets the point across that you shouldn't be driving, okay? So the other thing I'm doing is I'm towing your car and I'm impounding it for 20 days. And I'm impounding it because Arizona law says if you've never had a driver's license, which you haven't, you can't drive unless it's an emergency situation, like you are on the way to the hospital and someone is actively bleeding out in your passenger seat. Except for that, and that isn't this, you can't drive. Just because someone says, hey, can you drive me? You need to say, no, I don't have a valid driver's license. Well, you can't just let someone who you know doesn't have a driver's license drive. Especially when you're pregnant and you're worried, obviously, about the safety of your unborn fetus. So you're going to entrust the safety of you and your baby to a unlicensed 14 year old. And therein lies the problem. Can't even see in there. You can open up the door too. So I didn't want to start the car. No, that's okay. That's okay. That's, that is part of Look how dark that window is. All right, ma'am. You being an adult okay. can't ask a minor to drive. So what you have is permitting an unauthorized minor to drive. Okay. Right. This is a criminal offense. So you have to, all that means that you have to go and see the judge and explain what happened here to the judge. Okay. How much is this shit gonna cost though? You know what, I don't know because the sheriff's office doesn't deal with any money. Um, the court will be able to tell you that. Um, Cause they, they, they deal with all that stuff. Okay. Um, so that right there is all your stuff. Um, so you guys can take any items of value. So anything that's worth anything out of the car. The car is going to stay here. I just need to make sure you leave the key here or key fob or whatever it is. And then you guys are free to go. 
Um, How am I going to give back to you? I feel like you have a house that you could get into real close, right? So I would. Are you, yeah, obviously. Can you? Can you? Yeah, sure. I'll take that. Can you walk? Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I wasn't. I wasn't sure if the driving thing was out of, out of bounds. I wasn't sure if the walking thing was out of bounds. Yeah. I got pepper spray right here. Is that okay if I grab? Yeah, that? absolutely. Okay. Grab it. You got it. You got to stay safe. Yeah. Hi, citizen. No, no, I, I got a pretty good gauge for people. I'm pretty sure you're not gonna haul off with some pepper spray out of there and spray me in the face. Yes, ma'am. For real. That's me. No, for real. Can we get pictures with you though? Yeah, I love yeah. pictures. <laughs> All right. Hold on. Get out. Get out. Come here. <laughs> get out. Come here. Oh my God. I swear. Hold on. <laughs> Man, you're big for 14. Yeah, Holy cow, you're like a linebacker. <laughs> Good God, that thing's inside out, man. You might have to turn it around. <laughs> TikTok. I swear to God. You know what's good? We're not on TikTok, man. The sheriff's office isn't on TikTok, so. All right. But Facebook, yeah, you're gonna be on Facebook. Oh, I got Facebook. And YouTube. And YouTube, oh my God. I know, those are, <laughs> those are all people that pirate my stuff. I think I see you. They're all pirates, all of them. Oh. Yeah, it's crazy. All right, jump in. Are those corduroy? Yeah. Man, I haven't seen corduroy pants in a minute. I All like right, it. Ready? All right, you ready for this? All right. <laughs> oh my God. All right, hey, don't let her carry anything, man. She's prego. She got baby on board. I don't even. I don't even have words today.